Hi my beautiful Saggies. This is your March reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for March, I'll be doing a giveaway, but this one's going to be a little bit different. The winner of this giveaway gets to uh, win any tarot or any oracle deck of their choice. I'll be choosing the winner at the end of March. Okay, so let's see. What do we have for the beautiful Sagittarius? What is the mutual energy between Sagis and their love interest? Okay, and what do we have on Sagis' side? What is the mutual energy for Sagis? Okay, and the one that they're dealing with, the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Okay, so the mutual energy is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. On your side, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And on your partner's side, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. So I feel like, you know, you and your partner are both in the stage where you need to really um, stay optimistic about you know the relationship and where it's going or where um, where it is currently so I feel like you know on one side somebody needs to make a little bit more effort towards the relationship and because of that you know the other person your partner could be feeling you know like they need to stay optimistic um, but it could be due to the fact that you know I feel like you may feel like your partner is being a little too playful right now and they're not really taking things as serious as you want them to be so because of that you know maybe you haven't been making the effort or you've kind of you know taken a step back but I see that if you just kind of believe that it'll work out then everything's gonna work out with this person keep positive thoughts positive vibes okay what do we have for Sagittarius what do we have for Sagittarius for March? What can we get? Okay, so on your side we have the Four of Fire. I feel like um, with you very soon or this month, you're gonna be feeling very happy and content with your partner. Things are gonna start to pick up and you're not really gonna be in a place where you need to stay optimistic because things are just gonna be very great and already optimistic on their own. I feel like you guys are gonna be feeling very peaceful and very abundant with each other and things are gonna be feeling more aligned between the two of you. It's gonna be, if you guys are already um, living with this person or you're married to this person, you know, your home life is gonna be very happy. Things are gonna be going well if you have children with, you know, your children and your whole home life is just gonna be feeling very content and where it needs to be, like it is divinely guided um, in the right moment. I feel like if there's something that you've need, that you've been working on and that is why you haven't been able to pay as much attention to your partner or they haven't been able to pay as much attention to you, that project is going to come to a successful completion and because of that, that is why things may start to um, turn into a lot better um, than they are currently. On your partner's side, we have Awakening. So with the Awakening card, I definitely feel like your partner is going to be going through an experience of their own where they really realize how much they mean to you. They really realize it's like, it's like that stage of, you know, you don't know what you have until it's gone, except I don't see an ending here. I just see that they're just going to go through that awakening. Like maybe they'll be pushed towards that awakening. And it may be because you guys are just feeling so abundant this, um, this month and just feeling so happy with each other, but they're going to be looking at things from a different perspective. And, um, really being themselves with you, being very comfortable with you. And I feel like because of that, things are going to start picking up into, things are going to pick up from being, you know, maybe at a standstill to being very aligned. And you guys are really going to know where you stand with each other and uh, what your true feelings are towards each other. I feel like this awakening is going to drive your partner to have a heart to heart conversation with you this month. If you guys are doing well and they're just going to, really express how they feel even more maybe they're gonna send you some flowers send you a gift 
write you a letter or just send you a really sweet text expressing how they feel, expressing what this awakening moment was. And it could even be something just like a dream that they had or a moment that they had with you that really made them like see the potential of you and the potential of the relationship with you. So on your side, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this was destined to happen. Your partner was destined to have this awakening because this relationship is faded. This relationship is destined. Um, you guys are going to start seeing a very positive change within your relationship with your partner. And things are going to move forward suddenly and unexpectedly. I feel like good luck is going to be on your side for this month. And um, a lot of favorable outcomes are going to be coming. And not just within your love life, but also within your finances, within your career spirituality, whatever religion you practice. So your partner has the king of earth. So your partner is going to be feeling very stable. I feel like they're, um, I feel like regarding their work situation, they're going to be feeling very empowered in their workplace. They're going to be making a lot of money this month. And this month is going to be all in all very successful. They may be offered a new job opportunity. But I also see this as, you know, your relationship being more stable and more grounded. Things like really falling into place. Yeah, so we have the Ace of Water on your side. Definitely, I feel like you guys are really going to have an emotional talk this month. Really talk about your feelings and uh, because of that things are just going to change and they're going to pick up you guys are both going to have it's like there's a faded um outcome that's coming this month that is going to be in your guys's favor but also it's because of an awakening so it's like there's two things happening to align this to become you know what you actually want it to become for some of you um you guys could be purchasing a new home with this person some of you may be moving in with this person but i feel like you're going to be a lot of you may already be with this person and this may be someone that you're married to and feelings are going to start feeling like they're new again. But for some of you, this could be that you guys are going to fall in love with this person if you're not actually with them. You guys are going to fall in love with them and um, this relationship, if you're single, this relationship is really going to pick up or move to a higher level of commitment. There's going to be growth between you two. It's going to be like spiritual, spiritually, mentally, and physically. There's going to be a lot of growth between you guys this month. And it's also going to help you guys grow together. Okay, so what are the mutual energies between Saji and their person? The mutual energies between Saji and their person. Yeah, so, okay, so we have the Seven of Earth, the Nine of Cups, the Dreamer, and the Two of Water. So I was only going to pick two, but these all flew out, so I'm just going to take them. I feel like you guys are going to be t having a new start with each other, and you guys are going to be feeling, um, like, as if, like, your relationship suddenly turned into, like, a dream come true. It's going to be because you got, it's going to be because you guys planted the, the seed. So for a lot of you, this could be a relationship that you've wanted for a long time. And you've planted the seeds on your own to be able to actually grow this relationship, have this relationship come to you. Others of you, it's that you've been with this person for a long time and you've really put in the work and the effort to make the situation turn into what it's going to be turning into this month. I do see with the two of cups or the two, it's the two of water in this deck that your relationship is just going to continue to grow it's going to continue to prosper this month is going to be really great for you guys growing together and um seeing positive like uh positive uh resolutions to any problems that you had in the past it's going to be like all of that is going to be in the past now and you guys are just going to be able to move forward in this happy new stage that you guys are going to be in and then with the nine of cups here, it's like you're really going to feel like your wish is coming true with this person or if it's to be with this person, whatever that your wishes are, you're going to feel like they're all coming true and you're going to feel as stable with this person as you feel with yourself. So you guys are going to be feeling so successful and abundant on your own and emotionally like aligned on your own, but also with this person, which is like the ultimate feeling and it's going to be, it's going to be like any concerns that you had in the past are going to slowly start to fade away. And you're just going to have an all-in-all -all love for life. You're going to have a love for this person, a love for your life, a love for everything. And I feel like that's what really true love makes us experience is just kind of, you just kind of love every moment. Even the ones that aren't so great, you kind of 
you know, love them in a little way because things are just going to be flowing so wonderfully for you. So I do see a lot of water here. So there's definitely going to be a lot of emotions expressed between you and your partner this month, but it looks really good for you guys. I really hope this resonates with you guys. If you guys want a personal reading and you want to know a little bit more about your personal situation or you have a question that you want to ask, I do offer questions and 15 and 30 minute readings. My email is in the description box below. And, um, yeah, I also forgot to say that for the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. Um, and then there's three things that you can do. You can subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, or like my Facebook page. In the description box below, you'll see all three of those. Each one you do is another chance to win. So if you do all three, you get two enters, two, two enters, and so on. I hope you guys have a wonderful month, and I will see you soon. Bye, Saggies.